Good evening, everyone. Here is a report, a uh, news review from Qingpoco, January 30, 2023. In China, uh, middle high school students vanish is uh, explosive news. After 106 days disappearing, his body was found just near his school. About October 14, uh, 2020, this student named Hu Xinyu, 15 years old, vanished in school between dormitory and the uh, teaching building. There's a camera, but he just disappeared uh, at, at some dark corner the camera cannot cover. So the school notified his family after six hours. Then the police answered there's no evidence he was murdered or he had any problem with classmates. But then he disappeared, vanished. The police searched everywhere uh, because this is a big news. at the local area, Jiangxi province, Sangdao city, Yansan county. Uh, this is a private boarding school. So the parents want to know the uh, where his where the son is, where their son is, and the people want to know where he is. He suddenly disappeared, no trace, nothing. Police searched everywhere, and uh, even thousands of people voluntarily joined to search. They searched so broad area, around the school, and as far as twenty kilometers from the railroad, also two hundred kilometers from the river and all the mountains, woods, didn't found in three months. So it's a mystery. But suddenly, on January 29, 2023, the local government made the announcement, say, uh, Hu Xinyu's body was found in a woods nearby the school, even less than 100 meters, five minutes walk distance. So when this news made announcement, no one believed. Chinese people don't believe. On the internet, it's uh, explosive. People don't believe for many reasons. First of all, after three months search, the police, police used everything, even sleep dogs, sleeper dogs, and drone, and uh, all kind of equipment like thermal, imagine equipment, they couldn't find uh, whose body. So how come so near school found, found his body? Second, he was found hung, on the, hung in the woods. So after 106 days, how about his body? His body look okay and his clothes is on. And the uh, police said uh, his parents or family members uh, judged it is Hu Xinyu. The third reason people don't believe is this uh, so near to the school, so near, but in the four, first four days, the government and the police announced, said near the school is impossible. So they searched every corner, every inch of the land, that's impossible. They just say, give up from there. They search further. So many reasons people don't believe. So suddenly, this body showed up. Another strange thing is, next day, January 30, some Chinese newspaper reported another version, said Hu Xinyu didn't hang on in the woods, but hung in a warehouse or called a granary, and said uh, his mother, and other people witnessed he was hung on there. But people still don't believe because this warehouse or granary searched by people, including uh, whose mother, searched there. No one found anything, but suddenly said it hung on there uh, near the wall. So these two different versions make it more mystery. So when the when Hu Xinyu disappeared, it's a mystery. 
Now when his body showed up, showed up, it's another mystery. People don't believe, but the Chinese government official has a famous word, said, no matter you believe or not, I believe it. This is their words. So uh, we don't know which part has a mistake, the local police or government, local government or the central government. So this is a very, very mystery or strange or weird issue. But the people doubt this, care for this, uh, not only for this case. They think about another issue called organ plantation. This is a notorious uh, living organ plantation, pr uh, plantation problem in China. It's a long-term problem. Every year, about one, one million Chinese people disappeared by no reason. That means every day, there are about 2,000 to 3,000 Chinese people disappeared. Most of them are young people. And the people said some of them disappeared just because some people, some organization, some kind of uh, gun nets or behind there is police or government want their organs. Uh, last month, when a new pandemic wave came in China, one minister passed away, uh, CCP Minister of Culture, the former CCP uh, Minister of Culture, Gao Zaixiang, passed away. And he admitted his uh, organs changed a lot until he didn't recognize which part is his. Where the organs come from, it's a long story. People talking about the Falun Gong practitioner. Uh, they are their organ uh, transplanted, lively. Not only Falun Gong practitioner. Actually, in China, this is a broad and dark story. So other young people also had this tragedy, fate. So people believe or suspicious Hu Xinyu, 15 year old, uh, this uh, middle high school student had the same fate. Because there are some, there are some strange things happening in the school. When this person was admitted by the private boarding school, other students found he was often called to check healthy and, uh, and uh, uh, sent to kind of a clinical center. Other students were jealous of him, saying he was important, but suddenly he disappeared. That means behind him there are some dark story, mostly related with government or government official, because China, this one-party rule society, is designed the people serve the, the party, serve the officials, senior officials, not the officials serve for people. If the senior officials need something, like organs, they will have any way to take it, especially from young people. So this kind of thing is not a conspiracy theory. There are many examples or evidence happened in China. So common Chinese people have reason to sus suspect, to, to be suspicious of Hu Xinyu's whereabouts. And also, even though Hu Xinyu's body was found hung in the woods or hung in a granary, it doesn't mean he commit himself. Maybe the government remade the story finally. However, however, 106 days disappearing, some kind of power can do anything. Behind there, uh, gun lines, police or government can do anything. They can do fake things, fake things, hang him on there. And also, if his uh, organ was taken away, used close to cover, and the parents has a distance kind of judge, then the, the authority said his body was sent for a uh, check, medical check, then his uh, family members cannot see. Then finally, there is a separated body or just a, 
you know, a box for the family. So who knows what happened? So there are many mystery. So this story is part of the dark channel. It's not all, but it's part of it. It's about organ transplantation or the living organ transplantation. So behind Mr. Ho's story, there are many things deep. If people say a deep state in China, that's true. There is really a deep state behind the society or the society surface. Thank you for watching and listening. I'll see you next time.